bioinformatics is this dreamy lucrative career that you can be sat on a beach coding away working three hours a day while sipping on a margarita or virgin margarita well the thing is bioinformatics actually has a dark side and there's bits of it that aren't great and i'm gonna share with you today the horrors i have found in this field of bioinformatics. My name's Georgia and I've been working as a bioinformatician for over three years. I've been coding for nearly five and I am here to share with you guys today the things I really don't like about my job and my career. I think it's really important to have a you know full picture of the truth of a career and the thing is I do share a lot about the positives of my career on this channel, but I think it's also a good idea to share the things I don't enjoy and the things I know other people don't enjoy, because then hopefully you guys can make a more informed decision about whether this is a field that you would like to go into and one that suits your life. So without further ado, let's crack into the things that I don't like in bioinformatics. So a lot of people comment on this channel to ask, is it a lucrative career? And essentially that means like how much money do you make in bioinformatics? So in academia, you do make more money than a comparative wet lab scientist, which is great because you're sat there like, oh, I'm fresh out of uni and I'm at the same level and my salary is more. And this is because the salaries of bioinformaticians are benchmarked and these get benchmarked against similar skilled roles, AKA data scientists and bioinformaticians out there in industry, which make a lot of money. So our salaries are higher in academia, which is great. But I would say that they're still not fantastic salaries. And this is coming from someone who worked all her way through uni. Like this is more money than I was on when I was a bartender. But to be a bioinformatician in the places that I'm at, like I live in Cambridge, I commute to London, and most of the jobs are in Cambridge, London, and Oxford down south. And these are really expensive cities to live in. So as if you're a single person, it's like not a lot of money. Whereas if you're house sharing or you live with a partner, things are a lot more manageable. But the money is better than wet lab comparatively, but it's not that great, especially considering what you can do with your skill set. So first of all, my friends working in like recruitment and consulting are earning lots more money than me. And then my friends that then go into more operational management roles, you know, their salaries grow a lot quicker. So the only way to really grow your salary really big within bioinformatics is to go into industry and climb up the technical ladder. So become like a principal engineer. Uh, basically just going into industry is the only way you can make big money. You've got to remember that academia is funded by charity. So they're gonna pay as little as they can to get the skills that they need. And that's obviously very fair because it's a charity, but it does get really frustrating because you know that your skill set, your technical skill set, is so much more valuable than what you get paid for. So it's like that constant battle between I could go work at a tech company and get paid so much more money, but as a biologist, I'm not going to find that as fulfilling. It's really frustrating to yeah be sat in that space where you feel like you're not paid enough for your skill set, but you appreciate why you're not because you've chosen to work in a science sector. That is my first bugbear about bioinformatics. Um, but again, yeah, you can hop over into industry to get more money. So there are options, so it's fine. I hate how sedentary the role is. So when I first started working as a bioinformatician, I put on so much weight because I was just sat down all day. And especially if you're working from home, great. Like get up, go to the kitchen, make a coffee, come back, sit at my desk. Yeah, it's so sedentary. I started getting really bad back pain. If I don't work my back out in the gym every week, like it really hurts. I feel like it's a really physically inactive job. You're not getting up to like go stand up at the lab. And yes, you think of standing desks, right? But I live in a tiny flat. There isn't room for a standing desk here. My office don't have them. Only the PIs have standing desks. It's just really bad for your health to be a bioinformatician. So yeah, this kind of luxury idea of doing a bit of coding and then hopping out, going to the gym. I don't know, it's not the reality of the role. The reality is you sat down all the friggin' time and if you don't factor in X 
exercise into your routine, then you just get really unhealthy. The weight gain, the back pain, the being indoors all day, it feels like a really reclusive role. And I mean, it's in comparison to like, when I used to work in a bar, I'd be swanning around all day on my feet, I'd be like outside. Um, so yeah, it does feel like a very reclusive role. Even though, yeah, you are talking to people and you're in an office, yeah, you're still just like sat down the whole time and, there's just other roles in the science sector that you could be doing that involve standing up more and <laughs> moving and being more active. So the next thing I really don't like about bioinformatics is as a woman, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I face so many just like comments and stereotypes being in bioinformatics. Like I've gone to networking events before and people are like, oh my god like but you don't look like a data scientist like what like just <laughs> i really really hate the the comments about the stereotypes and i've yeah i feel like people don't take you as seriously as a woman in tech if you like look and dress a certain way i mean it's the point like at my old job i used to always wear like short skirts and mini dresses in summer and then at my new job subconsciously i don't do that anymore i really wanted a fresh slate with like people not judging me for what i wore to work so yeah i feel like there's a lot of stereotyping and judgment i just don't like that like i am just a person who loves my job my looks don't relate to what i do like it's just it's just annoying another thing i don't like about bioinformatics is when you're in academia and i guess this kind of goes for other people in academia but as a bioinformatician right you're outside of the academic rat race so everyone else around you is like trying to climb this academic ladder they're trying to go from like phd to postdoc to like pi and everyone's competing against one another that environment i just don't like it as a bioinformatician your motivation is oh i just really want to work on this problem i want to like solve this thing i want to deliver this solution like i just want to like create and do things for the sake of creating and doing without being in the academic environment another thing related to academia is because once you reach senior principal level or like postdoctoral level there's nowhere else for your salary to climb to without you becoming a pi or like leaving to industry so because people can't keep climbing with money to validate their growth that's the thing that like then festers because you can't validate with money as you would do like in a industrial company. Can we all just like do what we love and then get compensated for it? Like, why is that so hard? All right, and the next thing I don't like about working in bioinformatics is I feel like most of my friends like outside of work, they're all in very different careers to me. They're in the fashion industry, they're in recruitment, consulting, like civil service, and I, I feel like in bioinformatics, I don't get to do the things that my friends get to do. You know, so I don't get a bonus. I don't get to go to corporate dinners. I don't get to go to launch events. Like, I don't know, all these kind of young professional things that I see my friends doing, I don't have in my career. I mean, I try to like go to these free tech events. Great. You are in science, like it's a nerdy job and I think a biology degree can take you in so many places like it doesn't have to be in biology and it doesn't have to be in bioinformatics there's so many things you can go and do and as much as it is really nice to like still be close to the biology you do get further and further away from the biology when you're learning all of the data stuff and i i wish i got to dress up more in my shop so guys those are the things i don't like about bioinformatics that have been accumulating for the past four years let me know in the comments if you guys have any thoughts on these i will probably update this another time with more things i've learned to not like in bioinformatics but i hope this has been helpful for you and i'll see you again on another video see ya